Hey guys, welcome back to the start of our next settlement build. The mod scene has been dry for the past couple days, so I figured we'd go ahead and move on to our next settlement, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. Rather than the raw footage that you're normally used to, it's going to be a more edited version and style. So I hope you enjoy that, and we're just going to kind of play with it. So our new settlement is going to be at Starlight Drive-In, and it's going to be sort of a forward operating base for the Minutemen. Kind of to transfer supplies between settlements and just to hold not necessarily a sustainable farming settlement, but really more of a militaristic kind of operating base for scouting and, like I said, supply runs, stuff like that. So for today's build, like I said, we are at Starlight Drive-In. And normally, people use the big, expansive, flat part of the drive-in as a great place to build settlements. And I'm all about that. That's usually what I do. But I'm trying to be as immersive and lore-friendly as possible here, and really... It would be kind of hard to build there given that it's all hard asphalt. So instead, we're going to be using the main building for the Minutemen space. Now, I haven't covered the Minutemen on my channel yet, but I typically run them as a very militaristic group who's trying to rebuild the wasteland but is gathering some supplies. They're more than just the ragtag vanilla faction. And so that means we're going to be including some things like the mod sandbag fortifications in this build, but also using a lot of the surrounding environment like the cars and buses and stuff that is also around here. So looking at a top-down view of our Starlight Drive-In here, this is the area that we're going to be working with. So, like I said, I want to use the main building, but I'm thinking that we're going to wall off in sort of this square shape what our boundaries are going to be. And that's what we're going to be focusing on primarily in the builds of today's episode. So I want to have a gate here and also a gate here. This will be the primary entrance and exit to move supplies through the base, offload them into here, and then out. Like I said, this is a forward operating base. There's going to be some recon towers, some snipers up here posted up. This is less of a, we're trying to stay here and live here, and more of a small little fort that they can defend if needed. So what I'm thinking is, since we have a lot of cars to work with, I'm thinking of using some of the different mods that add different types of car fences and things as our primary source of walls, as that is going to be the easiest thing for our guys here to get a hold of. As well as wood and metal and some chain link fence, because there is a lot of chain link fence in the area. That could also be used as some improvised fencing. Along with the big vanilla gates that you typically see at most settlements, and maybe a different one for the other side, but I really do like that improvised gate that would go right about here. But yeah, that is the idea of what we're going to be doing for today's build. So let's go ahead and see where I'm at after a few minutes of working on this settlement. So for starters, we have this front entrance here, which uses the original chain link fence that was there before. Since we took one of the gates out and replaced that with a wall made out of some sheet metal and some cars from around the Starlight Drive-In. As well as the Protected by the Minutemen sign from the Better Stores mod. As we continue to move down the side of the Starlight Drive-In here, we incorporate more and more crashed cars, and there may not be enough from the Starlight Drive-In parking lot itself, but luckily, just down the road, there is a junkyard which has more and more crashed vehicles and barrels and different types of scrap wood and metal, which is what I assumed they would be using to build this settlement here. So now it was time to build our first of our major defenses, our giant wall here with some sandbags and some railings just so that we have some cover as well as some full walls that our Minutemen can hide behind. This is the back, technically, of our settlement here, but it is where there is the most open space and so our Minutemen needs some real cover. The other side isn't going to have too many guard posts as this is the side that really needs defending the most. You'll see what I mean here as we look out over the railing, there is quite an open space. I'm thinking of putting out some barbed wire and maybe some anti-tank traps in order to stop oncoming invaders and to give them a little bit more time to shoot. Here we have another improvised guard post made out of a car with a little camo netting and a turret. This is actually a working defense location so we can stash a Minuteman right in there and he can see through that little gap and be able to shoot at enemies that are coming in from this side. And with that, our wall is complete and we have a full-on defensive perimeter around our entire settlement here. Next up is just adding a few more details to really sell that this is a Minuteman outpost and then maybe adding a little bit to the exterior here and then we'll call it an episode. Alrighty, since we last checked in, we have since added a couple of defenses improvised in nature as well as some signage to raid off raiders and gunners and promote the idea that this is a Minutemen settlement. I find it's important not just to have walls, but really make it seem like they are defended and really seem like the people are trying to stay here. Adding things like these hedgehogs, which are the wooden and barbed wire spikes you see here, 
really deter people and make it clear that they don't want them climbing this fence, as well as the barbed wire that I've added here and there on top of the improvised walls. In the field beyond the base now, you can see that there are lots of hedgehogs and some of the cars left over from the wreckage being used to funnel the enemy into specific paths and not allow them to full-on assault the base easily. On top of that, we've gone around the perimeter, added some tires and some more defensive things like sandbags, as well as the sharpened spikes and barbed wire to deter people from trying to climb. And again, funnel them into open areas like this chain link fence here where they can be shot at from inside the base. And finally, we've gone around and added some turrets along the perimeter of the wall, adding some character using some of the modded turrets that I have installed just to make it feel a little bit more real, like this M60 that we see circling and <laughs> defending the perimeter. And yeah guys, that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. I hope that you like what you've seen so far, and this is just the beginning of this settlement build, and I hope you like the new edited format. Let me know if you prefer this or just the raw watching me build, but I have a good feeling that this is gonna be the preferred format from now on. So stay tuned for the next episode where we do primarily the defenses and work on making it a more rooted looking settlement. Today was just the walls, but we're gonna move on into the deeper roots of this settlement in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and just a reminder, we do have a Discord now. Check the description if you wanna be invited to that. Here we just talk about different things, Fallout related, discussions and polls. This is also where we take our AMA questions. Sadly, we don't have one to answer today. However, if you would like to ask an AMA question, just drop one in the comments section below or in the AMA section of our Discord. We will also be hosting a community game night this Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you'd like to participate in that, again, join this Discord. There will be more information to come and just hop in the general at the time of the event. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, consider subscribing for more Fallout 4 modding and settlement content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.